In measure theory, Carathéodory's extension theorem, named after the mathematician Constantin Carathéodory, states that any pre-measure defined on a given ring R of subsets of a given set omega can be extended to a measure on the sigma algebra generated by R, and this extension is unique if the pre-measure is sigma finite. Consequently, any pre-measure on a ring containing all intervals of real numbers can be extended to the Borel algebra of the set of real numbers. This is an extremely powerful result of measure theory, and proves, for example, the existence of the Liebske measure. <laughs> Semi-ring and ring <laughs> Definitions For a given set, Omega display style omega we may define a semi ring as a subset s display style mathcal s of p omega display style mathcal p omega the power set of omega display style omega which has the following properties element of s display style empty set in s for all a b element of s display style a b in mathcal s we have a b element of s display style a cap b in mathcal s Closed under pairwise intersections for all A B element of S display style A B in mathcal S there exist disjoint sets K I element of S I equals one two N display style k underscore i in mathcal s i equals one two dots n such that a b equals i equals one n k i Display style a set minus b equals big cup underscore i equals one carrot n k underscore i. Relative complements can be written as finite disjoint unions. The first property can be replaced with s does not equal display style mathcal s n e q empty set since a element of s equals element of s display style a in mathcal s implies a set minus a equals empty set in mathcal s with the same notation we define a ring r display style mathcal r as a subset of the power set of omega display style omega which has the following properties element of r display style empty set in mathcal r for all a b element of r display style a b in mathcal r we have a b element of r Display style a cup b in mathcal r closed under pairwise unions for all a b element of r display style a b in mathcal r we have a b element of r display style a set minus b in mathcal r Closed under relative complements, thus, any ring on Omega 
display style omega is also a semi-ring. Sometimes the following constraint is added in the measure theory context. Omega display style omega is the disjoint union of a countable family of sets in S display style mathcal S a field of sets respectively a semi field is a ring respectively a semi ring that also contains omega display style omega as one of its elements topic properties arbitrary possibly uncountable intersections of rings on omega are still rings on omega if a is a non empty subset of p omega display style mathcal p omega then we define the ring generated by A noted R A as the smallest ring containing A. It is straightforward to see that the ring generated by A is equivalent to the intersection of all rings containing A. For a semi-ring S, the set containing all finite disjoint unions of sets of S is the ring generated by S. R S equals A A equals I equals one N A I A I element of S Display style R S equals left A A equals big cup underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I A underscore I in S right one can show that R S is simply the set containing all finite unions of sets in S. A content mu defined on a semi-ring S can be extended on the ring generated by S. Such an extension is unique. The extended content can be written mu a equals i equals one n mu a I display style mu a equals sum underscore I equals one carrot n mu a underscore I for a equals I equals one n a I Display style a equals big cup underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i. With the i and s in addition, it can be proved that mu is a premeasure if and only if the extended content is also a premeasure, and that any premeasure on R s that extends the premeasure on s is necessarily of this form. Topic motivation. In measure theory, we are not interested in semi-rings and rings themselves, but rather in sigma algebras generated by them. The idea is that it is possible to build a pre-measure on a semi-ring S, for example Stilchus measures, which can then be extended to a pre-measure on R S, which can finally be extended to a measure on a sigma algebra through Carathéodory's extension theorem. As sigma algebras generated by semi-rings and rings are the same, the difference does not really matter in the measure theory context at least. Actually, Carathéodory's extension theorem can be slightly generalized by replacing ring by semi-ring. The definition of semi-ring may seem a bit convoluted, but the following example shows why it is useful. Topic: <laughs> Example Think about the subset of P R display style mathcal P math B R defined by the set of all half open intervals A B for and B reals. This is a semi ring, but not a ring. Stilchus measures are defined on intervals. The countable additivity on the semi ring is not too difficult to prove because we only consider countable unions of intervals which are intervals themselves. Proving it for arbitrary countable unions of intervals is accomplished using Carathéodory's theorem.
Topic: <laughs> Statement of the theorem. Let R display style R be a ring on omega display style omega and let mu r 0 plus infinity be a pre-measure on r ie for all sets a element of r display style a in r for which there exists a countable decomposition a equals i equals 1 infinity a i display style a equals big cup underscore i equals 1 caret inf t or underscore i in disjoint sets a i element of r i equals 1 2 Display style a underscore i in R for all i equals one two l dots. We have mu a equals i equals one infinity mu a i display style mu a equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret inf t mu or underscore i let sigma r be the sigma algebra generated by r the pre measure condition is a necessary condition for mu display style mu to be the restriction to r of a measure on sigma r display style sigma r the Carathéodory's extension theorem states that it is also sufficient, i.e., there exists a measure mu sigma r zero plus infinity such that mu is an extension of mu. That is mu r equals mu. Moreover, if mu is sigma finite, then the extension mu is unique and also sigma finite. Equals. Topic. Examples equals topic non uniqueness of extension. Here are some examples where there is more than one extension of a pre measure to the generated sigma algebra. For the first example, take the algebra generated by all half-open intervals a, b, on the real, and give such intervals measure infinity if they are non-empty. The Carathéodory extension gives all non-empty sets measure infinity. Another extension is given by counting measure. Here is a second example, closely related to the failure of some forms of Fubini's theorem for spaces that are not sigma finite. Suppose that x is the unit interval with Lebesgue measure and y is the unit interval with the discrete counting measure. Let the ring R be generated by products A times B where A is Lebesgue measurable and B is any subset, and give this set the measure mu a card B. This has a very large number of different extensions to a measure, for example, the measure of a subset is the sum of the measures of its horizontal sections. This is the smallest possible extension. Here the diagonal has measure 0. The measure of a subset is 0 1 n x d x display style int underscore 0 caret 1 n x dx where n x is the number of points of the subset with given x coordinate. The diagonal has measure 1. The Carathéodory extension, which is the largest possible extension. Any subset of finite measure is contained in some union of a countable number of horizontal lines and in some set whose projection to the x-axis has measure 0. In particular the diagonal has measure infinity. See also. Outer measure, the proof of Carathéodory's extension theorem is based upon the outer measure concept. 
Han Kolmogorov theorem. Loeb measures, constructed using Carathéodory's extension theorem.